Welcome to the West Side Church in Rockford, Illinois. A legacy of praise, a beacon of hope, a vision of tomorrow. We hope that you enjoy this message. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. The word of God is blessed. I'll praise your name, your holy name. I'll praise your name, your holy name. I'll praise your name, not just today, but always, now and forever. Lord, I'll praise your name. Help me say, I'll praise your name, your holy name. I'll praise your name, your holy name. I'll praise your name, not just today. today. Let's go. 
It's our weapon, yes. not the fist, yes. not the words. We're going to use our praise. It's our weapon. Yes. Open up your heart. Receive our worship, God. Receive our worship, God. Oh, this is how I fight my battle. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. Oh, 
This is how I fight my battles. Help me say, this is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. Come on with the praise on your lips. This is how I fight my battles. This is how we fight. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. We gotta choose it. This is how I fight my battles. 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 With my mind stayed on you. This is how I fight my battles. No matter, no matter what's going on. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. I choose to believe the report of the Lord. This is how I fight my battles. Say it may look like I'm surrounded. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Come on, the walls may be closing it may in look on you. Like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. You may feel the pressure and the weight of the it may world, look but like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may not seem like it's working it out, may but look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded. Come on, say it. This is how this is how I fight my battle with our weapons this yeah is how I fight my battle We going to fight yeah this is how I fight my battle This is our weapon this is how I fight my battle Of our weapons yeah this is how I fight my battle They're not carnal no this is how I fight my battle But they're mighty this is how I fight my battle Yes the mighty this is how I fight my battle They going to pull them down we're pulling down strongholds this is today. How I fight my we will fight. This is how I fight my battles. Yes, we will, Lord. This is how I fight my battles. This is how, this is how I fight my battles. You may lay the battle down. You may get tired battles. and weary. But come on, we won't go weary in our well doing. We will choose to believe the promises of the Lord. For I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. With the praise from my lips. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Come on, the tears are falling. It may look, it may like, look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded. You by might have you. thought to give up to the enemy, it but it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded. The by God you. of all strength. It may look the God like of all I'm comfort. Surrounded, but I'm he said, get up and you. fight. Come on. It may look like Get up I'm and surrounded, fight. but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like it may look like it may I'm feel like it. It may I'm seem like it, but this you. is how. This is how I fight my battles. We will fight. This is how I fight my battles. Yes, we will. This yeah. is how I fight my battles. Yeah. This is how I fight my battles. Yeah. Yeah. This is how I fight my battle. This is how I fight my battle. I will choose fight my battle. To fight the enemy. I fight my battle. On my knees out. I fight my battle. With my head raised out. I fight my battle. With my heart right out. I fight my battle. I choose to fight. This is how I fight my battle. We thank you, Lord. You felt alone. But God said he never left you. He said he won't forsake you. He said he's been there all the time. All the time. All the time. Right there. He's right there with you. Right at the fight for you. Yeah. I 
say. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded by you. Come on, when the enemy, I'm surrounded by you. He's coming like a flood. It may look like I'm surrounded by you. The waters are covering you. I'm surrounded you. by you. Heavy, deep in the water. It may look like I'm surrounded by you. But I'm God said they won't you. overtake you. Hey. It may look like I'm he won't let the waters overtake you. By you. Even if you gotta lift your head it a little, like I'm surrounded. When you lift and look up, yes. When you lift and look up, look yeah. Like I'm surrounded. He's right I'm there. By He's you. right there. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded. Say by this you. is how. This is how I fight my battles. 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 Through the pain, it's how. how I fight my battles. Even when you this look like you lost, sometimes a loss is a win. Sometimes a loss is a gain. This is how I fight. Sometimes we need to get sick. Sometimes we need to be inflicted. Because it causes us to get down. It causes us to get down on our knees. And pray. It causes us to ask for forgiveness. But this is how we fight. No longer will we be shut up in the corner. But we're coming out. Come on, we're coming out. This is how I fight. Like pure gold. Like we've never been in the fire. This is how. This is how I fight my battles. Come on, sing it. This is how I fight my battles. 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 All across the room. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. The enemy, he's afraid now. This is how I fight my battles. Come on, because we're united. This is how You're not alone in your fight. The enemy had you thinking you were alone in your fight. But he's but the Lord said, not so, not so. He said, I'm here. He said, I'm here. He said, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I've always been there. Yes, but with your brothers and sisters around, we're fighting together. Yes, we're waging war against the enemy. Come on, we are waging war against the enemy. It's not the person next to you. It's not your mom. It's not your dad. It's not your coworker or your boss. But it's the enemy you can't see. The one who makes you feel way down. We choose to fight. We choose to fight. Yay! This is how I fight my battles. 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 I surrender all to you, Lord. Come on, some of us we have to surrender it to Him. Say, I surrender all. I surrender all. This is how I fight my battles. All to thee, my blessed this is how Savior. I fight my battles. Oh, this is how I fight my battles. This is how. This, this is, is how I fight my battles. This 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 is how I fight my battles. 
This is how I fight my battles. Come on, keep going, keep going. Keep going. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. Come on. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. Yes and amen. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. Come on, keep fighting, keep fighting. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how. This is how I fight. Come on, fight until your breakthrough comes. This is how I fight. We will keep fighting, yay! This is how I fight my battles. This, this is how, how I fight, fight my battles. This, this is, is how, how I fight my battles. Black footed. This is how I fight We're my battles. We're standing against the enemy. Black footed. This is how I fight my battles. With the army. This is how I fight my battles. Of the Lord, yeah. This is how I fight my battles. 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 This is how I fight. Keep singing that. Keep singing it. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. Oh God. Oh God. Go ahead and finish. Go ahead and finish. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. Oh God, we just thank you for who you are. Thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies, God. We just thank you for another day. Thank you for another day that was not promised unto us, Lord Jesus. And God, we just ask that you come into the room in a special way. In the name of Jesus, we just thank you for the fact that we know how to fight our battles. We fight our battles through you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, as I decrease, you increase within me, God. Not by thought nor by recollection, but by your spirit, let the words flow through my mouth. I trust you, sir. And I ask, God, that you open the hearts and minds of your people on today so they'll make room for what you have for us today. In your son's name, we pray. And let the church, as you're clapping your hands, say amen. Amen. You may be seated. Truly the Lord is good and he's worthy to be praised. I just want to thank the praise team for bringing not just the songs for today, but bringing the anointing as well. We just thank God for all of you who are here. Thank God for our visitors who are here. We hope that you will enjoy yourself. And more importantly, we hope that you get a word for your everyday life to get you through the next week ahead. And feel free to join us whenever you want to. We thank God for our pastor and first lady who is, as we know, coming back from a funeral of my cousin who was tragically um, killed in a car accident. We ask that they're safe passes. They're on the way to Bloomington first to check on my mother-in-law, who was in a car accident earlier this week, but she's doing fine. Thank God for your prayers. I pray th on behalf of Leslie, I just want to thank all of you for your prayers. She's doing just fine. So they're going to check on her, then make their ways back to Rockford, and I'm hoping that they'll get rest for the rest of the day um, and on tomorrow. I thank God for coming at you for another week, <laughs> second week in a row. So the devil was busy last week. Last week, the, uh, the thing wasn't working. The whole time on Facebook, I was muted, and I was spitting that good knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and no one on social media heard it. And you know, I'm getting to the point where I'm like, if it ain't on social media, it didn't happen, you know? So I'm like, the devil is a liar. The people who heard it were the ones who were meant to hear it. And so um, let me check one more time, make sure it's not muted. So people will hear this one. And I once again want to thank God for all of you. I'm going to get right into it. Um, the Lord has been dealing with me about a simple word, a basic word um, when it comes to the Christian faith, something that we all should know what it means and how to do it in some way, shape, or form. We all have different levels of how we do it. We all have different means of doing it. We do it on our knees. We do it while walking. But the word that um, God's been dealing with me is prayer. And I know it's basic. I'm like, God, why are you dealing with me when it comes to prayer? I know that I have to pray to hear. Like, if every time I talk to you, Lord, it's a way of praying to you. Lord, every time I have an issue, I know to come to you through prayer. And so, Lord, it's why are we dealing with it today? And so as I was getting my message together, it came, became clear not just for what I am to say to all of you, but what I myself am to do to make myself a better prayer, praying saint. I even know that I have issues that are, I have shortcomings when it comes to prayer. And I learned that today. So I want, let's, let's talk about that. There are moments, as we know, there are moments in our lives where our vision, our eyes are focused, laser focused on either what lies ahead are laser focused on our future, laser focused on that big problem that's in front of us, right? We, our thoughts and our, and our dreams, and we go to bed thinking about it, we wake up thinking about it. And I'm not just talking about the bad things. I'm talking about just life. I'm laser focused. I'll be laser focused around 10 o'clock tonight on what my schedule looks like tomorrow and how I'm going to fit a workout in somewhere. Oh, I can't fit a workout in? Darn. <laughs> but I'll be laser focused on that tonight, looking at, logically looking at what tomorrow holds. I'll be laser focused on my issues that I'm dealing with, um, that I'm praying to God about, but I'm also thinking about themselves. I'll be laser focused on that, looking at the things that are right in front of me, my bills that need to be paid, my relationship. Um, me and Leslie, we tight. Uh, but just relationships in general, that some that I need to mend, some that I need to let go. Uh, my, our jobs that we have, we're laser focused on the issues that are at hand. We're laser focused on keeping the job. We're, also, we're so focused that we begin to go into autopilot or cruise control throughout the days, trying to get through the days to the point that we either find ourselves not doing it as much or not doing it at all, calming ourselves down to pray. I know it's basic, right? But at the end of the day, when I was reading on this and studying on this, it's not. It's the most important thing that we can do, not just for our relationship with Christ, but for our own personal edification, for our well-being for our for our faith for us to become bigger faster stronger it starts with prayer and so i want to come to you guys that from from philippians for the fourth chapter verses six through seven it's a familiar passage philippians the fourth chapter verses six through seven and i'll be coming from the new king james version and it says be anxious for nothing you can stop right there if you wanted to. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, or by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ. Jesus. May I read that again? Be anxious for nothing. That's the rule. That's what God has told us. My command to you in this scripture is to be anxious for nothing. Don't stress anything. Don't worry about anything, but in everything, 
in everything that happens through prayer and supplication or petition with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, uh, the peace of God that we cannot even fathom, no matter how hard we try and how many hours we sit down to grasp the peace of God, it says right here that it surpasses any type of understanding that we may have. God will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And the word of the Lord is already blessed. So I'll, let me speak for myself. Oftentimes in my life, I find myself giving God my all <laughs> when things are dark and glim, when things are looking like they're about to turn my world upside down and I want to stay right side up. So I get on my knees and I pray. I remember the days of me coming to the church by myself just to pray, Lord Jesus, help me with this issue, Lord. Don't let it get out, Lord Jesus. Don't let the people find out what your boy was doing, Lord Jesus. Help me, God. Help me with this issue that I have, Lord Jesus. I have no idea how to get out of it, God. Oh, I praise you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. I know that you can do it. And then God does it for me. And then you don't see me at the church by myself anymore praying. <laughs> I'm like, I wish I could do it. Like, <laughs> And I'm walking around like, thank you, Lord. And I'm back to my old regular self. And my level of intensity when it comes to my prayer ceases. It backs off a little bit. And then when things get bad, something else happens. You find me op open that door. Beep, beep, beep. Coming in here when y'all ain't here. Oh, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. And then he fixes it. And then the doors stay closed and you don't see me again. Am I the only one? Am I the only one who finds themselves sleepless nights praying and then when it's fixed, now you're sleeping wonderfully, not praying as much as you were. But we find ourselves doing that so often and it's this endless cycle. And just imagine like your spiritual emotions just going up and down, up and down. I'm ready to go. I'm praying. Things are good. Now I'm coming back down and now I'm stressed again. Oh God, I'm praying. I'm good to go. And then I'm coming back down and I'm stressed again. That sounds tiring, doesn't it? And so our earnestness, if you don't mind me using that word, I just made it up. Our earnestness for prayer is determined and dictated by the situation that's in front of me. When God is saying, be anxious for nothing, but through everything, no matter what it is, come to me in prayer. And before I know it, like I said, the cycle continues. And there's an endless roller coaster that raises our threshold for stress and anxiety when the remedy is simple and in the form of three words, which is going to be my subject tonight, tonight, today, pray without ceasing. If you could say it with me, pray without ceasing. Intentionally, not ironically, on purpose, the subject of my message is another scripture that's in the Bible. First Thessalonians, and I'm going to put it in context, 5, 16 through 18, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, Give thanks in all circumstances. Give thanks in all circumstances. And the previous scripture says, with thanksgiving. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Pray without ceasing. Continually pray. Never stop praying. And I'm going through all the different variations of Bible verse, the way the different versions of the Bible, pray constantly, pray all the time, just in case you needed the different translations If pray without ceasing, if it makes sense. Now, you know, it's pray all the time. So let's go back to the scripture in Philippians. I love this scripture for so many reasons, but for today's reason, it tells us what to do, how to do it, and what to expect when you do it. It tells us what to do, how to do it, and what to expect from doing it. It breaks it down for us so that we won't miss it. 
God not only told us what to do, but he wants to make sure we knew how to do it um, and for the reasons why he wants us to make it happen. What to do, how to do it, and what to expect when you do it. So what does it tell us to do? Be anxious for nothing. Super easier said than done. I can talk that all day. Be anxious for nothing, Reese. Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing, Reese. Be anxious for nothing. Oh, Jesus, be anxious for nothing. It's easier said than done. And for many, simply telling me not to be anxious makes me anxious. <laughs> it's like, why are you mad? I'm not mad. You look mad. I'm not mad. See, it makes you mad when you tell me I'm mad. Because I wasn't mad, but now you made me mad. So if you're going to tell me not to be anxious, I'm going to become anxious. Don't, be, don't stress it, Reese. Oh, I'm stressed. Thanks. Thanks. Why did you say anything? But thanks be to God that he tells us how to do it again. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. Lord, I have this, oh God, this issue came before me. But before I talk to you about it, for Lord Jesus, I just want to thank you. I thank you for who you are, Lord. I just thank you for the fact that when I think about it, it could be worse, Lord Jesus. Lord, I thank you for my health and strength. And Lord, I have this issue in front of me and I need you to fix it. But as you see, as you start the giving thanks to God, it helps you to remember what God has done before, what he is going to do, and what he's currently doing right now. It causes you to step out of yourself and get into a posture of worship and thanking the Lord for what he's done. It calms you down so that you could put yourself in a position to hearing God. I, I will admit myself, pray without ceasing. I got things to do. You know, I got to I gotta talk to Sharon. I can't be talking to Sharon at the same time that I'm praying. Like, that sounds like I'm a dude. We can't multitask. You know? So, but what does that mean to me? I'll speak for myself. What does it mean to me? Uh, uh, let me? Let me think of a good example that may be humorous. Lord, I thank you that I finally got this piano fixed that I can hear myself when I'm playing. I hope I didn't blast y'all today. I was trying to talk to Graceland, asking, is it too loud? And she was like, what? <laughs> but I thank you, Lord, that, I, that we were able to come to a solution and that it's starting to work. Lord, I just thank you for the mere fact that you picked me to preach the gospel to these beautiful people. Lord, I just don't know why you picked me, even though I know the stress that it caused to get to this point. But Lord, I still thank you. I thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for my car. I know, I know that it may not be the car I want, but at least I got a car to get me from point A to point B. Lord, I thank you. As I think about it, I walked up those 10 flights of stairs back there. And really did not have to think about using this elevator. Lord, I just thank you. So I have a constant uh, thankfulness, praying to God, just thanking him for the littlest of things. I'm, th I'm making sure that the Lord hears from me. And it causes me to put myself in a posture to, be, to hear from him. When you draw nigh to, to God, God will draw nigh to you. I'm sorry, that's King James Version. When you draw close to God, when you come and you chase after God, he's going to give you a return on your investment by coming right back and chasing after you and to the point where you guys meet. And now you're in a position where I, I, if I may not have heard a specific word from God, but I feel something. I feel something. And every thing by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God in every circumstance and situation. We must pray to God and petition God while giving thanks. Quoting from this book that I had, I had this I had this book for years from Pastor, and it was it was uh, authored in 1900, literally 1900. I was reading a uh, paragraph of it for, with Leslie last night, and he said, uh, for example, women can pray. This is 1900. Women can pray while they're washing clothes on the washboard. That's how old it was. Like I'm like, washboard? Washer machine? And I can do it myself. But quoting from this book, from R.A. Torrey, what could be plainer or more simple than that? Just keep in constant touch with God. And when any trouble or vexation, great or small, comes up, 
Speak to him about it, never forgetting to return thanks for what he has already done. It's quite simple. God is just saying, talk to me. The other, another scripture from last week, cast your cares upon me because I care for you. I just want you to talk to me. I want you to talk to me when things are bad. I want you to talk to me when things are good. And some of us may have be in a season of bountiful blessings. That's great. God bless you. But such is life that the season is going to change. It is part of life. Living is easy. I'm sorry, dying is easy. Living is harder. Because living just has different variations of seasons throughout our life. Seasons of unknowns, seasons of being convinced and confident, seasons of being insecure, seasons of I know who I am, seasons of uh, bountiful blessings and my family's in good health, seasons of death. In all the seasons that we go through, God is simply saying, talk to me. And I must say, the best part, about doing that is that you'll have a result that you can feel and experience. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Kind of hard to really grasp faith if I can't see it. I know I can't think of it logically, so it takes effort for me to look at this in a spiritual manner. But when it comes to this scripture, it's saying that when you do what I told you to do, you will see and feel and experience the result of you simply talking to me, says the Lord. And that experience is, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. He told us what to do. He told us how to do it. And he told us what will happen when we do just that. We will experience the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. So how can you experience that? Well, when everything seems to be going crazy, and please, this, you don't have to raise your hand, just think about it, if this happened to you. Everything's going crazy in your life. But you find yourself, you know, just not letting, you find yourself just feeling at peace. And then you're like, oh God, you start to feel guilty. Am I supposed to feel peaceful right now? I'm supposed to be crying. Do I not care? OMG, am I just numb? No, and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Notice you was questioning yourself why this guy just told me he was going to end my life, he tried to destroy my future. Why am I not stressing about it? Oh, because I prayed about it already. Constantly, I'm praying over everything of my life. What do I mean? I have a great job. Oh, God, I just thank you for my job. But I ask that you to keep me in this job, Lord. Help me to see the things that I don't see so that I can make sure that I'm effective in this role. I'm in a great relationship, and I'm speaking I in general. Lord, I just thank you for this individual. Lord, help me to be the best person for them and to guard my heart so that they won't break my heart. Oh, God, we we're praying over everything so that when something happens and now we have the peace that surpasses all understanding and now we're questioning that peace, now we know, oh, it's because I prayed about it already. And it's not your, it's not giving credit to yourself. You're simply doing what the scripture says. I'm giving everything to God through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving and he's going to be working on it behind the scenes. When you can speak a word over your situation and you feel at peace knowing that that word is going to resonate over that situation. I remember so, a couple of weeks ago, someone said, hey, Wes, so-and-so, so-and-so said, they're coming after you. I said, well, Lord Jesus, you brought me here, so uh, good luck. And then I felt peace because normally Reese, like, oh, Jesus, they're coming after me, Jesus. But now I realize no weapon formed against me shall and if God be for me, who can be against me? So when I remember what the word says and I pray it over my life and the Lord puts it on my spirit while I'm praying, all I got to do is speak over that situation. And now I'm at peace. Why aren't you tripping? Uh, oh, duh. 
because I prayed about it. Did you? And so not, often I, I call it developing a, the, developing a thick skin. When people come at you crazy, you develop a thick skin, you don't let it penetrate. Well, I just realized, no, it's not about me being tougher because Reese still has his emotions. <laughs> it's about me praying about every, the situation and knowing that God gave me a word and nothing that contradicts that word is going to prosper because God is for me because I made sure to stay close to him. Don't get this elitist attitude. Oh, I'm a child of the king. I could do anything. People don't like those kind of people. Those elitist kind of folks, self-righteous kind of folks, you are the worst. And if you are that kind of person, please stop because I'll stop hanging with you. It's not about being elitist. It's not about being entitled. It's about doing the work that God has put in front of us right here. God told me to pray about it. God told me to give thanks to him about it. And I know for a fact that God's going to give me peace that surpasses all that understanding. I didn't say the situation is fixed. I didn't say the bill was paid. But you know what? I prayed about it. And the God of the universe, the one that owns a cattle on a thousand hills, the one that owns that ch changes the season how he wills, the one, that, like I said the, last week, the one that if I can trust this chair to, to hold my body up, how much more will the Lord do for me? If he's the one to make sure the falcon is closed and the sparrow, his eye is on the sparrow, how much more will he have his eyes on me, it's not about being entitled. It's about you developing that relationship with Christ. And that is only done through prayer and reading your Bible and prayer and reading your Bible. People I thought I could trust. And I, I had this one person uh, just stab me in the back a couple, about a month ago. No, two months ago. Stab me in the back. And normally you would... In, the, in my profession of politics, they, the good ones at least will call you and tell you, hey, just want to let you know I'm about to stab you in the back. Oh, okay, appreciate you. It's like, it's like real talk. Hey, just want to let you know I'm about to go on the news and um, throw you in the mud. Okay, do what you got to do. All right. Hey, you want to go dinner later? Yeah, let's do it. And then they come and go, throw me in the mud, pick me up. Hey, what's going on? Let's have, let's have food. But this person just stabbed me in the back. Just... <laughs> And I'm like, huh, interesting. Called him up. Hey, I saw that you stabbed me in the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I forgot to tell you. That's oh, all right. Uh, good to know, though. But I, then when I got off the phone, I'm like, wow, Reese, the original Reese would have been either like, okay, let me get you, give me a bigger knife and just behead you. <laughs> Forget shanking you. But, I, <laughs> but this Reese was like, you know what? Your knife has nothing on the, the weapons of my warfare are not carnal. And so I'm not even going to worry about you, sir, because you can't do nothing to stop me. The only one who can stop me is God. And I'm going to make sure I stay in God's face so he doesn't have to stop me. Then I was like, hmm, I'm more sure. I'm getting good at this. Nope. I prayed about it. I, I forget that I was praying, Lord, help me in this arena. Help me to balance being this guy and a seat rep and a preacher of the gospel. Help me to understand how to uh, really, really embrace and nurture both callings equally. More, my gospel calling, my preaching calling, calling even the more. Help me to do that, Lord. And so when things come at me uh, that are meant to attack me, even now, I just tell Leslie about it, and then we go out our merry, our merry way. Before, I was crying to Leslie, and when her with her mean self, joke, if, if you don't get over it, she didn't say it like that. But um, the strength that she has, I had to learn to keep up with her, because I'll be ready just, can we talk about it? I need five minutes just to vent. Nope. God doesn't want you to vent. God doesn't want you to mope in your sorrows. He wants you to come to him and talk to him about it so that he can help you with the situation. So why do I feel okay with this guy shaking me? Oh, yes, yeah, because uh, I prayed about it. My loved one has been in the hospital, 
and people around me are worried, but I'm not. Do I not? Do I not love them? I mean, I love them, but why am I not worried? <laughs> I forgot. I prayed about it, and now I got this peace that surpasses all understanding. Me knowing that the Lord is going to fix it. He may not even fix it how I want to, but he will fix it. My job is acting crazy and is talking about laying me off. And I just bought a house and bought me a nice truck. And I'm, I was ready to get settled at this job because I really like this job. And they're talking about laying people off. And Lord, you told me to buy the house. You told me to get that truck. And why are you? They're about to. But I'm not stressed about it. <laughs> Forgot. I already prayed about it. That's why I'm not stressed about it. This is what praying and talking to God can do. Simply talking to God. And I know, I hear you. Some of us are saying, yeah, that's, I can pray to God all I want. And then when I get off my knees, that bill still do. Yes, I get it. But if you, if we must learn to put ourselves in a posture to not only pray to God and give thanks to God, but to be able to receive something back from God within that prayer, whether it's uh, a praise on your lips, whether it's this joy, unspeakable peace, something we, but if we rush our prayer, if we're just praying while we're on the go, nothing wrong with, but we have to take time to pray, really pray. Nothing matters more right now in this space than me and you guys. So I'm going to talk to you about my situation. I had a busy day, Lord, and I could take out 10 minutes, 15 minutes just to talk to you and to get in your face, lay in front of you and tell you about my situation. And Lord, you will fix it. Let me give you a, a, my example. It may not work for you, but it, this is what I learned works for me. When I need to hear from God, I give me a notebook and I just start writing. I don't, I don't know what it's going to say. I don't try to think about it. I just start writing. It may come out that I'm talking about somebody in my writing. I can't believe this fool said that, Lord Jesus. This guy is going to get the wrath of Reese Cup. And then before you know it, uh, the my language is changing, and now I'm writing something that God wanted me to write. I remember one time I was writing about, um, I was new into my position, and I was like, God, I have no idea what I'm doing. I was writing it, writing about it, like journaling. Nothing wrong with journaling, fellas. Uh, writing men, nothing wrong with journaling. Call it the book of memoirs if you want it to sound masculine. So I was writing in my book of memoirs and I was just writing. And before you know it, out of nowhere, God started putting on the pen, on the paper, operate on, out of clear vision and not ambition. I preached on this before. So I learned right there. Okay, God, you don't want me to be ambitious in this field, which everyone and their mama is. It's a, a field that, of ambition and ego. But God said, don't make a move until you have a clear cut vision. And until then, you stay right there. I'm like, thank you, Lord. And it all came from me writing. Another thing I do, because I'm a preacher and it gets on Leslie's nerves sometimes, I monologue to myself. I find, what are you laughing at? <laughs> I find myself in the mirror just preaching <laughs> to myself, having a, a, I just imagine, pray for me, I imagine an audience. And I'm talking, and before you know it, I say something. I know it wasn't Reese. I knew, I know for a fact, Reese would never talk that way. And then I'm like, I say it, I'm like, oh, God bless y'all. Then I go back to, uh, to write it down. Leslie's just looking at me, who are you talking to? I'm monologuing. You know how I do. Either in the shower or while I'm getting dressed. Like this morning while I put on my suit, I'm monologuing to myself, speaking to myself, and waiting for God to speak back to me. Matter of fact, I will be praying while I'm putting my suit on, speaking to the Lord, and eventually something comes out of my mouth that I know it wasn't Reese. And I'm like, God, I thank you. That's how it works for me at times. Yes, I get on my knees and pray. But find out when you get earnestly into your, on your knees and pray, the Lord will show you ways that works for you that you too can talk. Some of us are artist, artistic. Some of us are not. There's times when I get on the piano and the Lord just calms me down by the notes I play. Some of us can do that. Some of us aren't, can't. But as you develop your relationship, the Lord is going to share with you different ways for you to get close to him. 
And so when the situation happens and now you question it again, <laughs> never mind, I know why I feel good, because I prayed about it already. When times are bad, pray. When times are good, pray. When times are great, pray. When times are bountiful, pray. When your job fulfills you, and it's not a job, it's a calling, pray. When you're during your season of plenty, pray. There is always something to pray about. There is always something to pray for. That's what it means to pray without ceasing. Pray over whatever situation that you may have. Whatever situation. Lord, I thank you for my house, but I ask that you cover it with the blood. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for my automobile, but Lord, I ask that you cover each tire with the blood of Jesus so that I will have to go through what I used to go through in my hoop deed that I used to have. I was thanking God the other day. My car, some of y'all may have it, that auto stop. And it, like you stop at the light and it just stops on you. I remember back in the day when that happened in my car, I'm like, oh God, <laughs> it stops at the light and then I got to put it in neutral. <laughs> and then there's people behind me. But now when it auto stops, I just sit there. <laughs> Lord, I thank you because this used to stress me out. Because I know for a fact it's going to turn back on when I lift that brake. <laughs> God, I thank you. Couldn't have done it without you, Lord. This ain't my doing. This is yours. Praying over everything, thanking God over everything. And so that when the time comes that throws you for a loop or side swipes you, you did not see it coming. The Lord is already working on your behalf. Another thing, and I'll, then I'll be done. If you, you're looking at me, right? Y'all, every single one of y'all just about are looking at me, making me nervous because your eyes are so pretty. But when you're looking at me, I want you to focus. Do you see Jay? Look at me. Do you see Jay? Look at me. Do you see AP? What do they call that? The peripherals. Majority of our eyesight is in the peripherals. Majority of our eyesight is, in, is within our peripherals. When you pray and stay focused on God, God will make sure that you also are in tune with your peripherals. The Lord, through the Holy Spirit, will share with you, hey, you see that? So that you can focus on it through discernment or through um, just monitor that individual. I remember some person came up to me and, you know, they come all nice and, Maurice, I heard great things about you, brother. You go on places. I'm, and instantly I'm like, mm hmm, what do you want? Because in my peripherals, I see what you truly trying to do. Instead of me saying, oh my goodness, thank you. I appreciate you. Can I ask you a question? Anything. It's too late now because I wasn't focused on my peripherals. That's what prayer helps us to accomplish, to see behind the scenes, to understand and grasp what, what is really happening. When something bad happens, you could automatically say, see through Christ. Hey. I think this is for my good. I think this was supposed to happen. I'm not going to worry about it because all things work together for the good of those who love God. And that's your word, Lord. So I'm not going to worry about it. But I got there and it helped me to be at peace because I prayed about it. Pray without ceasing. It's basic, but the more you do it, the closer you can get to God, the closer you can get to a, a position where you don't let in your, your external factors make you sway any kind of way. You'll be like the tree planted by the rivers of water who gets their, their nourishment from the river and not the external things that happen. So when it, it's no longer raining, I'm still nourished because I'm by the rivers of water. I don't need validation from individuals. I get all my validation from God. Every morning when I say, Lord, I thank you for who you are. You're going to do this, Lord. I don't know how. I don't know how, what way, but I'm just going to trust you. Prayer helps you to trust God even the more. Go ahead and stand on your feet. And I want you to focus on that situation. We all have shortcomings. We're human. I told you mine. I need to work on praying more. I need to work on slowing down through the week and getting in God's face even the more. We all have shortcomings, but I want you to think of yours and let's pray 
that the Lord will help you to iron out the wrinkles of your shortcomings so that you can get closer to God through prayer. So that help us to understand what prayer looks like for Jerry, prayer looks like for AP, what prayer looks like for Sierra, so that, Lord, I can be, make sure I'm there right alongside with you praying. Is it me praying while I'm at the river, walking every morning? Lord, what is my time and how do I pray? That's what God can help you to comprehend so that you won't let bad news sway you. Oh, God, we just ask, Lord, right now, and we first thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for your word on today. Lord, we thank you for the fact that we are here. Lord, we, we know that life is not the way we want it to be right now, God. But Lord, in he, just in this country, we surpass one million people who died from COVID, and we have not. So Lord, we are here for a reason. Help us through prayer to understand what that reason is. Lord, I thank you for my whole family that's here on today, Lord Jesus, for what you've done for them so far and what you plan to do for them in the future as long as we stay focused and not derail our, our purpose by not praying but trying to handle the situation on our own. Lord, help us right now in Jesus' name. Say it in the Lord, rebuke you. We bind you in the name of Jesus. You will not distract me with busyness. You will not distract us with our schedule. You will not distract us with our job and our family. We will find time to pray because the prayer that we give up to God is the best. Re will give us the best return on an investment that anything else can give. Our prayer can help our family. Our prayer can help our job. So Lord, help us to really understand the power of prayer. In your name we pray. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen. Go ahead. Thank you for listening. We hope you enjoyed today's message. For more information, please visit westsidekojic.com. Thank you and have a blessed day.